أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد أرسلنا رسلنا بالبينات وأنزلنا معهم الكتاب والميزان ليقوم الناس بالقسط صدق الله العظيم احمده و نصلي على رسوله الكريم اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم حامين والكتاب المبين انا جعلناه قرانا عربيا لعلكم تعقلون وانه في ام الكتاب لدينا لعلي حكيم صدق الله العظيم دی حامیم سیریز سوراز ناؤ ریمین ٹو مور پیئرس سورت الزخرف اینڈ سورت الدخان دے آر اے پیئر بوتھ اسٹارٹ ود دیز ورڈس حامیم ول کتاب المبین دین سورت الجاسیہ اینڈ سورت الاحقاف دے آر اے پیئر دے اسٹارٹ ود دی ورڈس حامیم تنزیل الکتاب من اللہ العزیز الحکیم In these four surahs, the main subject we have discussed is Tawheed again. But here both aspects of Tawheed, they are discussed. The theoretical aspect or Tawheed fil Aqeedah and the practical aspect of Tawheed, Tawheed fil Amal. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Hameen wal Kitab al-Mubeen, by the book that is self-evident and manifest. Now here, this is the oath that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taken. But what is the subject on which this oath has been taken? It is mahzuf, it is understood. So we have to read here the same as we find in Surah Yaseen. Yaseen wal Quran al-Hakim inna kala min al-Mursaleen. So that is muqtab alayh over here also. Hameen wal kitab al-Mubeen inna kala min al-Mursaleen. By this book, which is self-evident and manifest, O Muhammad, you are, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, definitely a messenger of Allah. وَإِنَّهُ فِي أُمِّ الْكِتَابِ لَدَيْنَا لَعَلِيٌّ حَكِيمٌ And this book is in the mother book, which is with us, and which is very high and full of wisdom. Now this is Ummu al-Kitab. This Qur'an, as I said before also at some time, these are the copies of Qur'an, the attested copies. Real Qur'an is fi ummil kitab, in the mother book, which is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or fi lohim mahfuz, the protected and preserved tablet. Or fi kitabim matnoon, the hidden book. So these are the three you know, places in Qur'an where it is said the real Qur'an is there. وَإِنَّهُ فِي أُمِّ الْكِتَابِ لَدَيْنَا لَعَلِيٌّ حَكِيمٌ And verily, this Qur'an is in the mother book, the most fundamental book, which is with us, لَدَيْنَا, and it is very high and full of wisdom. أَفَنَذْرِبُ عَنْكُمُ الزِّكْرَ صَفْحَرٍ أَنْ كُنْتُمْ قَوْمَ مُسْلِفِينَ Shall we then take away the admonition from you altogether because you are a transgressors, transgressing people? Because you are not accepting it, you are rejecting it, you are mocking at it. So, should we take it away from you? No. وَكَمْ أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ نَبِيٍّ فِي الْأَوَّلِينَ And how many a prophet we send among the ancients. وَمَا يَعْتِهِمْ مِنْ نَبِيٍّ إِلَّا كَانُوا بِهِ يَسْتَحْزِئُونَ And there never came any prophet to any people, but they mocked at him. فَأَغْلَقْنَا عَشَدْنَا مِنْهُمْ بَتْشَنْ then we destroyed those who were very much more powerful than these people. Babada Masalul Awwaleen and the examples of the ancients have already gone forth. Wala insaltaum man khalaqa samawati wal arda and if you ask him, 
who created the heavens and the earth la yaqulunna they will definitely say khalaqahunna alazizul alim they have been created by the by that who is almighty and knower and knower uh, uh, of everything allazi ja'ala lakum al arda mahdan who has made the earth for you a cradle wa ja'ala lakum fiha subula and he has made there in paths and ways for you la'al lakum tahtadun so that you can reach your destinations wallazi nazzala min as-samaa'i ma'an bi qadar and it is he who sends down water from the heaven in due measure fan sharna bihi baldatam maita and then we revive thereby a land which is which was already dead kazalika tukhrajun in the same way you will be taken out from the earth in resurrection wallazi khalaqal azwaja kullaha and is who has created the pairs of all things wajada lakum min al fulk wa la nam ma tarkabun and he has given you in the form of ships and cattle on which you ride they tastawu ala zuhurihi so that you should mount upon their backs summa tashkuru ni'mat rabbikum and then you should remember the blessing of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on you is astawaitum alayhi when you have settled down on them wa taqulu and then you say subhan allazi sakhkhara lana hadha wa ma kunna lahu muqrinin glorified is he who has subjected all this to us and we ourselves were not capable to do it wa inna ila rabbina la munqalibun and then finally we have to return to our lord wa ja'alu lahu min ibadihi juz'an and they have declared some of his own servants as a part of him now when somebody says he is son of god now son where from he comes he comes from the sperm of the father the sperm was a part of the body of the father it means whosoever is an offspring is a part of the person of the father so that way they are claiming as if they are claiming that they are the part of his person wa ya'lu lahu min ibadihi juzan inna al-insana lakafurun mubin verily insan is very ungrateful amit takhala mimma yakhluqu banatin has he that is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taken up unto unto himself out of what he created daughters was fakum bil banin and he has preferred you for sons by the bushra ahaduhum bima daraba li rahmani masala and one and one of them is given the great tidings of what they are striking the similitude for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala zalla wajhuhu his face becomes darkened maswaddan zalla wajhuhu maswaddan wa huwa kazim and he is choked with grief ab mai yun shaw fil hiya has that come to me who is reared among ornaments the female childs they play with ornaments bahwa fil khisam ghairu mubin and in arguing he or she is not very clear wajalul malaikat alladheena hum ibadur rahmani nasa and they have said that the angels who are the servants of the compassionate that they are females ashahidu khalqahum did they witness their creation satukta mushahadatuhum wa yusalun so their testimony will be recorded and then they will be questioned on the day of judgment how did you say that the angels were females wa qalu law sha'ar rahman ma abadnahum and they say if the compassionate had desired or or willed we would not have worshiped these gods ma lahum bi zalika min ilm they don't have any knowledge for that inum illa yakhrusun they are only guessing ہم آتے نہ ہوں کتابوں میں قبل ہی فہم فیہ فہم بہی مستبصقون ہے وی گیون دیم اے بک بیفور دس بک سو دے ار کلنگ ٹو اٹ ڈو دے ہیو اینی بک بل قالو انا وجدنا ابانا على امت دے دے دم سیلف سیڈ وی فاؤنڈ اور فور فادرز آن اے ریلیجن ایکٹنگ آن اے ریلیجن و انا على اثارہ مہتدون اینڈ وی ار بینگ گائیڈڈ بائی دیئر فٹ سٹیپس they don't claim that they have a book any revealed scriptures were given to them wa kazalika ma arsalna min qablika fi qaryatin min nazirin and in the same way 
We never sent in any city or township before you a messenger, a warner, illa kala mutrafuha, but the affluent people in the, of that town said, inna vajadna abana ala ummatin. Verily, we have found our forefathers on the religion. Vaina ala asarihi muqtadun. And we are following their footsteps. Kala avalau jetakum be ahda mimma vajadtum alayhi abakum. Now the messenger said, although I might have brought to you something which is more guided, more guiding than what you found your forefathers on. Palu inna bima ursiltum bihi kafirun. Then they said, said it plainly. Okay, listen. We surely disbelieve in what you have been sent with. I declare our rejection of what you are saying. Fan taqamna minhu. Then we took the revenge from them. Fanzur kaifa kana aqibatul mukazzabeen. So see, what was the end of these who belied? What was the end of the people of Nuh and Hud and Saleh and so on? Wais qala Ibrahimu le abihi wa qawmihi. And recall, when Ibrahim said to his father and his nation, Innani baraum mimma ta'abudun. I am not in the least connected with those whom you are worshipping. Illa lazi fatanani, except the one who has created me. Fahinnahu sayyadin, and he will definitely show me the right path. Vajadaha kalimatum baqiyah, and he made it a lasting word, fi aqibihi, in his posterity. What does it mean? To his progeny he said, don't believe in anyone else except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La Allahum yarji'oon, so that if sometimes they go astray, they can come back. If that word remains there, La ilaha illallah. Wal matatu ha ulai wa abahum. But I let these people and their fathers enjoy comfort. Hatta jahum al haq. So that when the truth came to Rasulun Mubeen, and a very clear messenger came to them, وَلَمَّا جَاهُمُ الْحَقْ And when the truth came to them, قَالُوا هَذَا سِحْرِ They said, this is sorcery, وَإِنَّا بِهِ كَافِرُونَ And we disbelieve in it. وَقَالُوا لَوْ لَا نُزِّلَ هَذَا الْقُرْآنُ عَلَىٰ رَجُلٍ مِنَ الْقَرِيَتَيْنِ عَزِيمٍ And they said, why was not this Qur'an sent down upon some great person from these two cities? These two cities, they were twin cities, so to say. Just as we have in Pakistan, Kabul Pindi and Islamabad are twin cities. So Mecca and Taif were the twin cities. Because people of Mecca had properties in Taif. Taif was, so to say, the hill station for the people of Mecca. In the summer they used to go there. It is high altitude, very good weather. So actually these are the two, two, two very big cities of Hejaz. So what they said, if Allah had to send a messenger, he could choose a big chieftain, a wealthy person, a person who has, you know, so much uh, wealth with him. From these two cities, so many people were there. He came, who could have to chosen someone, great person. وَقَالُوا لَوْ لَا نُزِّلَ هَذَا الْقُرَانُ عَلَىٰ رَجُلٍ مِنَ الْخَرِيَتَيْنِ عَظِيمٍ أَهُمْ يَقْسِمُونَ رَحْمَةَ رَبِّكَ Will they distribute the mercy of your Lord? This Nabuah and Risala is mercy. That is why yes, I told you that this institution of prophethood and messengerhood of Allah has reached in the, in the person of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam its climax. And that is why we say, لَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا مَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا كَإِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ The Rahma, the mercy of Allah has reached its janit in the person of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So now, will they distribute, will they decide to whom this, this mercy should go? نَحْنُ قَسَمْنَا بَيْنَهُمْ عِيشَتَهُمْ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا We have distributed among them their livelihood for the life of this world. وَرَفَعْنَا بَعْدَهُمْ فَوْقَ بَعْدٍ دَرَجَاتٍ And we have raised some of them in rank above others. سُخْرِيًّا لَيَتَّخِذَ بَعْدَهُمْ بَعْدًا سُخْرِيًّا So that some of the, them can take Service from others can employ them as servants. But the mercy of your Lord is much better than what they are holding 
and what they are amassing. This mercy of Allah is the revelation which has come to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And if there was not the possibility that whole humanity, humanity and mankind would become an evil community, we would may, we would have given those people who reject Rahman, who disbelieve in Rahman, they him for their houses, sukufam min fizza. Roofs made of silver, wa and the stairs also, alayha yazharun, on which they ascend, wale biyutihim abwaban, and also for their houses, doors of silver, wa and beds of silver, alayha yattakeun, on which they recline, wa or not only of silver, but also of gold. But what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to say that all these things have no value in our eyes. We could give to any kafir everything here. But if we give all the kafirs all these things, then all the people will become kafirs. So that, that is why we are not giving them. But these things have no importance in our eyes. There is a saying of the Prophet sallam, that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala holds whatever is in this world, the whole wealth equal to a mosquito's uh, wing, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would not have given even a draught of water to any kafir. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that these things are meaningless, valueless. They have no value in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In kullu dhalika lamma mutawul hayati dunya. And then, even then, all this would have been only a passing comfort for this life of this world. While the akhirah, the hereafter, which is with your Lord, is much better for those who, who fear God. And whosoever blinds himself to the admonition of, of the compassionate, we appoint for him a Satan, Fahuwa Kareen. And he becomes his friend or comrade. This we have read before also. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, with every human being, he has appointed a satan, a jinn. And these satans, they bar them from the right way. And they are thinking that we are, they are the right, rightly guided. They are on the right path. Till that time, when they will come to us, then the human will say to his jinn or certain companion, would that there had been between you and me the distance of the two peace. So evil is the comrade. So evil are you, have you been to me as a comrade. You turned me away from the right path. You led me astray. And as a result, now I am going to be thrown in the fire of hell. And this is not going to profit you today, when you were evildoers, that you will be now sharers in this chastisement. You and your Satan both will be in the fire of hell. Afanta Tusbiyo Summa, O Muhammad, can you make the deaf to hear? Or Tadil Umiya? Or you can guide the blind? Waman kana fi zalali mubi, or the one who is in manifest error. Faima na zaban bika. So it is also possible that we will take you away. Faina minum taqibun. But then we shall take the revenge from them. Aur nuri yanna kalla zivad na hum. Or we can show to you in your own lifetime what we have promised them. Faina alehi muqtadirun. We are very powerful and we command. We can do this. Fastam sik billazi uri ilaik. So cling and hold fast to what has been revealed to you. This is the source of strength. To hold fast to Quran. Wata simu bihablillahi jamiyan. Utlu mahu ya ilaikam al kitabi rabbik. Labu badilari kalebatihi. Watlu mahu ya ilaikam al kitabi wa akimis salah. All time you know this has been coming, this command to Muhammad Sallallahu and his companions. So hold fast and cling to that which has been revealed to you. 
and rest assured that you are on the right path, straight path. وَإِنَّهُنَا ذِكْرُ لَكَ وَلِقَوْمِكَ And this Qur'an is an admonition for you and your nation, your people. وَصَوْفَةُ تُسْعَلُونَ And after some time you will be questioned. وَصَلْ مَنْ أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ بِالرُسُولِنَا Just ask those whom we sent before you as messengers. أَجْعَلْنَا مِنْ دُونِ الرَّحْمَانِ آلِهَةً يُعْبَدُونَ Did we ever appoint gods besides Rahman? who should be worshipped. Has it ever been in any revealed scripture, has it been the teaching of any messenger of Allah, that there is some God or gods besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Ask them. وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا مُوسَىٰ بِآيَاتِنَا إِلَىٰ فِرْعَوْنَ وَمَلَيْهِ And we had sent Musa with our signs to Fir'aun and his chiefs. فَقَالَ إِنِّي رَسُولُ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ And he said, I am the messenger of the Lord of all the worlds. فَلَمَا جَاهُمْ بِبَعَيَاتِنَا إِذَاهُمْ مِنْهَا يَذْحَكُونَ When he came to them with our signs, behold, they started laughing on him. وَمَا نُرِيهِمْ مِنْ آيَةٍ اللَّهِ أَكْبَرُ مِنْ اُخْتِهَا And we showed them the signs. And each one which followed was greater than the one which was preceded, the sister. وَأَخَذْنَاهُمْ بِالْعَذَابِ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ and then we sent on them smaller chastisements so that they return and they turn to ourselves. وَقَالُوا يَا أَيُّهَا السَّاهِرُ And whenever any affliction came to them, عذاب الأدنى, قالوا, they said, يَا أَيُّهَا السَّاهِرُ Now they are addressing Musa as Sahir. O sorcerer, O magician, ادعو لَلَا رَبَّكْ Pray to your Lord for us. بِمَا عَهِدَ عِنْدَكْ For you have a covenant with him. إِنَّنَا لَمُهْتَدُونَ Now if this affliction is taken away from us, then we shall accept your da'wah, you shall accept you as messenger, and we shall be rightly guided. فَلَمَّا كَشَفْرَانُهُ الْعَذَابِ When we remove from that, from them that chastisement, إِذَاهُمْ يَنْكُسُونَ They broke their promise. They went back. وَنَادَى فِرْعَوْنُ فِي قَوْمِهِ And proclaimed Fir'aun in his nation. قَالَ يَا قَوْمِهِ أَلَيْسَ لِي مُلْكُ مِصْرِ Oh my people, is not the government of Egypt under me? This is the political shirk. Whosoever claims to be sovereign, he claims to be God. Because sovereignty belongs to God alone. Whosoever claims. Whether he is one person, Firaun and Namrud, or the so-called common people, masses, sovereignty of the people, common people. Well, it is shirk of first order. And there is no difference between monarchy and democracy. In both of them being shirk of the first order. وَنَادَى فِرَوْنُ فِي قَوْمِهِ قَالَ يَا قَوْمِ عَلَيْهِ سَلِيمُ الْكُمْ مِسْرِ وَحَادِ الْأَنْهَارُ تَنِرِي مِنْ تَحْتِي And these canals or these rivers are flowing underneath me. This is the literal translation. And some of the Mufassirin say that under the palaces, you know, he had the rivers and canals flowing. But I don't think this is the meaning. The meaning is that the whole irrigation system is under my control. Because, you know, the economy of Egypt depended upon agriculture. Agriculture depended upon water. Water was coming from Nile. And from the Nile it was the irrigation. And all the irrigation was controlled by the government. To give water to whom and not to whom. This was decision taken by the government. So this all thing is under me. All the resources are under my control. Afala tubsirun. Don't you see? Amana khairum min haza allazi huwa muheen. Am I not better than this person, Musa? Huwa muheen. He is contemptible. وَلَا يَقَادُ يُبِينَ And he cannot express himself clearly. فَلَوْ لَا أُلْقِيَ عَلَيْهِ أَسْفِرَةٌ مِّنْ ذَهَبٍ So why were not the bracelets of gold cast upon him? أَوْ جَا مَاهُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ مُقْتَرِنِينَ Or the angels would have come with him as attendants. If he is the messenger of Allah, the God of all the kingdoms and all the worlds, then these things should have come with him. 
فَاسْتَقَفَّقَ وَمَهُوا فَاتَعُوهُ So he made his people lose their sense and they obeyed him. إِنَّهُمْ كَانُوا قَوْمًا فَاسِقِينَ Surely they were a transgressing people. فَلَمَّا آسَفُونَا When they angered us, اِنْتَقَمْنَا مِنْهُمْ We took revenge from them. فَاغْرَقْنَاهُمْ أَجْمَعِينَ And we drowned them all together. فَجَعَلْنَاهُمْ صَنَفَا Now we have made them stories of the past. وَمَسَلَّ لِلْآخَرِينَ An example for the coming generations. Later generations. وَلَمَّا ذُلِبَبْنُ مَرِيَمَا مَسَلًا إِذَا قَوْمُكَ مِنْهُ يَسِدُّونَ When an example is cited from the son of Maryam, Isa alayhi salatu wa salam, behold, your people, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, cry out at that. They said that the Christians worship Jesus. So he is their God. Our gods are hobal, laat, uzda, manat. You have discarded them all. You say they are not. They have no existence. Nothing but your guesswork. But you are not saying anything against Jesus. This is, you know, their protest. Yes, it do. Then they cry. Wakal who had to say, Aalehatuna Khairun Amhu. Are our gods better or he? Madarabuhu ilaka illa jadala. And they have said this to you only for quarreling. Balhum Kawun Khasimun. They are a very quarrelsome people. In Huwa illa Abdun and Amna Aleh. He was for us a servant. And we blessed on him. وَجَعَلْنَاهُ مَسَلِّ لِبَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ And we have made him an example, a sign for the children of Israel. وَلَوْ نَشَعُوا لَجَعَلْنَا مِنْكُمْ مَلَائِكَةً عِنْدِ الْأَرْضِ يَخْلُفُونَ And if we decide, we can make from you, come out from you, angels in this earth, in this world, and they will be successors. We can create anything out of anything. وَإِنَّهُ لَعِلْمُ لِلْسَعَةِ and he, Isa a.s., is a sign of the hour. This ayah is very important according to our ulama. That, you know, among the, among the important and big signs of the coming of near, of Qiyamah, of the Sa'ah, one is coming down of Jesus again. Nazul al-Masih a.s. Regarding that, there are very, very authentic ahadis. And many authentic ahadis. So it is a part of our creed, we believe, that Isa was not crucified, alayhi salatu was salam. He was lifted alive to the heaven, and he will return from before the end of this world. And he will chastise the Jews, and he will kill the leader of Jews, Dajjal. You know, he will kill him. And so, you know, the, the people who rejected him, he was sent as a messenger to the Jews, Rasulun ila bani Israel. And they rejected him. So that punishment which has been due, now it's 2,000 years that it has been due. Now the time is very near when Jesus will come again and he will punish and all the Jews will be exterminated. So you don't have any doubt about it. And follow me. And this is the straight way. And let not the Satan bar you. إِنَّهُ لَكُمْ عَدُوبُ مُبِينَ Let him not stop you from the right, coming to the right path. Verily, he is for you a clear and open enemy. وَلَمَّا جَاءَ عِيسَى بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ And when Isa came with clear signs, the miracles of Hazrat Masih a.s. were the greatest. قَالَ لَقَدْ جَيْتُكُمْ بِالْحِكْمَةِ He said, I have brought you the wisdom. This is very important. There is no law in Injil. Hazrat Isa said that the law of Moses, Sharia of Moses, is binding upon you also. That is why Injil doesn't contain any law. It's only wisdom, sermon. The Injil only tells the essence of deen, ruh e deen, the essence of faith, iman, tawakkul on Allah, all these things, you know. They are discussed in Injil and the sermons of Hazrat Isa alayhi salatu was salam, not the laws. Torah was law, book, and Injil is hikmah, wisdom. But in Quran, all these things are, have come together. It's a book, it's hikmah, everything. 
ولما جاء عيسى بالبينات وهن عيسى كيم تو ذم وذ كلير ساينس اند ميراكلز قال قد جئتكم بالحكمه اي سيد اي براوت تو يو ذا ويزدم وليبين لكم بعض الذي تختلفون فيه سو ذات اي ميك كلير تو يو سم اوف ذوز ثينجز ان ويتش يو هاف بين ديفرينج فاتقوا الله واطيعون سو فير الله اند اوبي مي ان الله هو ربي وربكم فيرلي الله از ماي لورد اند يور لورد فعبدوه سو ورشيب هيم ابي هيم هذا صراط مستقيم ذس از ذا رايت باث فاختلف الاحزاب من بينهم تو ديفرنت جروبس ديفر امنج امنج ذمسلز فويل للذين ظلموا من عذاب يوم اليم سو وو بي تو دوز هو ديد رونج ثينجز فروم ذا تشاستايشمنت اوف ا بينفول دي هل ينظرون الى الساعه وات ار ذي لوكينج فور اكسبت الساعه ذا دومز دي ذا قيامه ان تاتيهم بغته ذات دي شود كم تو ذم سدنلي وهم لا يشعرون اند دي ويل هاف نو برسبشن ذات اتس كمينج على خلا يوم يزم بعضهم لبعض ندو اول ذا فرندز اون ذات دي ويل بيكم انيميز تو ايتش اذر الا المتقين اكسبت دوز هو فيرد جاد ذا متقين اف ذي ار فرندز هير ذي ويل ريمين فرند ان ذا هير افتر اولسو بت دوز هو ار نوت جاد فيرينج they have only their friendships for this world so now they will become enemies to each other on the day of judgment ya ibad la khawfun alaykum al yawm wala antum tahzanun o my servants there is no fear upon you today wala antum tahzanun and nor you shall grieve allazina amanu bi ayatina those who believed in our revelations wa kanu muslimin and they surrendered themselves submitted udkhulu al janna now enter paradise enter the garden antum wa azwajukum tuhbarun you and your spouses you shall be delighted over there yutafu alaihim bi sihafi min zahab wa akwab there shall be passed around them platters of gold and cups wa fiha ma tashtahihi al anfus wa talaz al ayun and in that garden there will be for them whatever their souls desire and the eyes delight in wantum fiha khalidun and now you will abide here forever forever wa tilka jannatu allati uristumuha bima kuntum ta'malun and this is the garden which you have been made to inherit because of what you used to do lakum fiha faqihatun kaseera now here for you are abundant fruit minha ta'kulun out of which you can eat ان المجرمين في عذاب جهنم خالدون اون ذا كونتراري ذا جيلتي ذا كلبريتس دي ار ان ذا تشاستايشمنت اوف ذا هيل اند دي ويل ابايد ذير فور ايفر لا يفتر عنهم وهم فيه مبلسون ذس تشاستايشمنت اوف ذا هيل ويل نيفر بي ابيتد فور ذيم اند دي شال بي ديسبيرد ذير ان وما ظلمناهم ولكن كانوا هم الظالمون and we never wronged to them never done any did any injustice to them but they were doing wrong to themselves banado and they will cry ya maliko ya malik he is the keeper of the paradise of the hell ya malik li yaqzi alaina rabbuk let your lord put an end to us let your lord make us die so that we are free from this affliction ya maliku li yaqzi alaina rabbuk let him do away with us now qala innakum maqisun he will say no you have to remain here forever no death will come to you to free you from this affliction laqad jaynakum bil haqq we brought you the truth walakin aksarakum lil haqq karihun walakin aksarakum lil haqq karihun but most of you they were very averse to the truth am abramu amran fa inna mubramun have they decided their affair okay then we are also deciding am yahsabuna alla nasmau sirahu wa najwahu do they think that we don't listen their secrets and their private counselings and consultations wala why not we listen and moreover wa rusuluna ladahim yaktubun our agents are there who are writing down everything qul in kana lir rahmani waladun fa ana awwalul abidin say o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam 
if there was really a son to the compassionate, I would have been the first to worship him. Why should not I have worshipped him? If I worship Allah, if he had a son, I would have worshipped. If he had a daughter, I would have worshipped. But there is no daughter, no son. It's not for Allah to take a son to him. He not behold of us, behold of him. قُلْ إِنْ كَانَ لِلْرَحْمَانِ وَلَدٌ فَأَنَا أَوَّلُ الْعَابِدِينَ سُبْحَانَ رَبِّ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ رَبِّ الْعَرْشِ أَمَّا يَسِفُونَ Glorified is the Lord of the heavens and the earth and the Lord of the throne of power from all those things which they describe. فَذَرْهُمْ يَخُدُوا وَيَلْعَبُوا So leave them, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. Let them speak nonsense and let them play. حَتَّى يُلَاقُوا يَوْمَهُمُ الَّذِي يُعَدُونَ till they meet their day, the day about which they have been promised. وَهُوَ الَّذِي فِي السَّمَاءِ الْآهُرْ وَفِي الْأَرْضِ إِلَهُ And it is He who is the Lord in the heaven as well as in the earth. Now this ayah comes very close to that sentence of the Lord's prayers. You know, Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heavens. O oh Allah, your will is being obeyed. Your commands are being obeyed in the whole of the universe. But there is only revolt here on this planet Earth. So your command should be established here also. Thy kingdom, kingdom of heaven or earth, the central theme of Hazrat Masih's, you know, call. Kingdom of heaven is coming. Kingdom of heaven is coming. So this kingdom of heaven does it mean? He is the Lord of the heavens. His sovereignty should be established on this earth also. وَهُوَ الَّذِي فِي السَّمَاءِ إِلَاهٌ وَفِي الْأَرْضِ إِلَاهٌ وَهُوَ الْحَكِيبُ الْعَلِيمُ And He is all wise, all knowing. وَتَبَارَكَ الَّذِي لَهُ بُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْلَرْضِ And blessed is He to whom is the kingdom and sovereignty of all the heavens and the earth. وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا And whatever is between them. وَإِنْدَهُ إِلْمُسْتَعَى And the knowledge of that hour, that appointed hour, is with him. وَإِلَيْهِ تُرْجَعُونَ And to him you will be turned back. وَلَا يَمْلِكُ الَّذِينَ يَدُونَ مِن دُونَهِ شَفَاعَةَ And those whom they are calling upon besides Allah, they will possess no power of intercession. إِلَّا مَنْ شَهِدَ بِالْحَقِّ وَهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ Except those who will testify with truth. And will they be knowing? They will say, okay, this fellow, this person is really a guilty person. They won't say, you know, anything which is wrong. How can anybody say anything wrong in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What about the angels, the prophets, the messengers, the saints? They will say anything wrong? No. They will say truth. Whatever truth, they will say it out. لَا إِنْسَالْتَهُمْ مَنْ خَلَقَهُمْ لَا يَقُلُّ اللَّهِ If you ask them, who created them? They will definitely say, Allah, فَأَنَّا يُفَقُونَ So where from are they being deviated and diverted? وَقِيلَهِ And I swear by the saying of the Prophet. What is the saying of the Prophet? يَا رَبَّ إِنَّهَا أُولَاءِ قَوْمٌ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ Oh my Lord, this my people, they are a people who are not ready to believe. فَسْفَحْ عَنْهُمْ So, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, turn away from them for a while. وَقُلْ سَلَامُ And say salam. Okay. You have rejected? Okay. Go. فَسَوْفَ تِعْلَمُونَ Very soon they will come to know as to what will be the result of their rejection. Surah Al-Dukhan. As I told you, this is a pair, very beautiful pair. Surah Al-Dukhan, Surah Al-Dukhruf. This also says the same words. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hameem wal kitab al-Mubeen. By the book, that is very self-evident and manifest. And I said, here we should read as understood. Wal kitab al-Mubeen, inna kala bin al-Mursaleen. This book, which is clear and self-evident, is enough proof that you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is a messenger of Allah. إِنَّا أَنزَلْنَاهُ فِي لَيْلَةٍ مُبَارَكَةٍ Now the same thing which is said in the last part of Quran, Surah Al-Qadr, إِنَّا أَنزَلْنَاهُ فِي لَيْلَةٍ الْقَدْرِ 
important subjects are repeated in the Quran at least twice. In Nazallahu fi Lailatul Qadr, we send down this Quran in the Lailatul Qadr, the precious night. Here, in Nazallahu fi Lailatul Mubarakatin, we sent it down in a night which was blessed. It is the same, not two of our nights. It's the same night in Ramadan, in the last ten days. Inna kunna munzirin. Verily, we have ever been warning. We have been sending our revelations to the messengers, so, to, so as to warn people. See how you forako kullu amrin hakim. During that night, Dalatul Mubarak or Dalatul Qadr, all the affairs of wisdom are decided and decreed and issued. This night for this world is a budget session of this divine kingdom. What will happen during this year? Who will die? Who will come and be born? What will happen to whom? What will happen to Pakistan? And what will happen to this and that? These things are decided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this night. And this is called Laylatul Qadr. تَنَزَّلُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ وَالْرُوحُ فِيهَا بِإِذْنِ رَبِّهِ مِنْ كُلِّ أَمْرِ All the matters have decided, have been decided, and now the angels start coming down to implement those decisions that have been taken by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And here the word yufraqo is very important. Issued. Yufraqo, something separated. Now this order has been issued. Fiha yufraqo kullu amrin hakim. All the important decisions are issued in this night. Amram min indena. As a command from us. Inna kunna mursaleen. We really, we have been descenders. Rahmatam min rabbik. And we have been sending the messengers as a mercy from your Lord. Innahu huwa samiyul alim. Verily, he is all listening, all knowing. Rabbi samabati malar di wama bainahuma in kuntum mukhaneen. He is the Lord of the heavens and the earth. And whatsoever is between them, in kuntum mu'mineen, if only you are convinced. La ilaha illahu. There is no God except him. You are he what you meet. He gives life and he puts to death. Rabbukum wa Rabbu abaykum al-awwaleen. He is your Lord and the Lord of your forefathers. Balhum fi shaki al-abun. But these people, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they are in doubts and they are playing, mocking. Fartaqim yawmat aati samao bi dukhani mubin. So you just wait and see when the heaven will bring a manifest smoke. Now in the coming ayat there is a reference to a small chastisement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which came to Makkah. As we read in Surah Al-Anam, Surah Al-Araf, then again in Surah Al-Sajda. It has been the practice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that whenever He sent a messenger to a people, He sent small chastisement, small afflictions, so that if they are sleeping they should wake up and they should think. So these small they are not for the destruction, but only meant to open their eyes, if really they can open their eyes. If they are not already absolutely dead spiritually, then you know this thing will shake them up, and they will rise and see, see the affairs. So this was in the form of a very big famine, which came to Mecca and the, all the area around it. So due to this drought, you know, there was nothing to eat. People were hungry. And you know, in that, case, in that condition, it seems as if, you know, there is dust all around in the, in the atmosphere. Dukhani Mubin. As a, there is some smoke which is covering the heaven. So it is meant by this. For Taqib, so wait, O Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, for the day, Yawm Atati Samao with Dukhani Mubin. When the heaven will bring a manifest smoke, Yakshan Nas, it will cover and envelop the people. Haza Azabun Alim. And this will be a painful chastisement. Rabbanak Shif Anna Al Azab, Inna Muminun. And they said and cried, O oh Allah, O oh our Lord, Lord, you just remove from us this chastisement. We come to believe, we shall believe. Anna Lahum Zikra. Where from can they have this admonition and reminding? Waqad Jahum Rasulum Mubin. Although a clear messenger had come to them. 
He was reciting unto them the revelations of their Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They never came to believe. Now will they believe? Anna lahum zikra wa qajahum rasulum mubeen. Summa tawalla on. Then but they just turned away from him. Wa qalu muallamun majnoon. And he, they said, oh, he is, he is a taught one. Somebody has taught him. He is getting dictation from somebody. Or he is a possessed one, majnoon. Or he has gone, gone crazy. Inna kashiful azab qalilan, inna kum aidoon. Okay, we are going to remove this chastisement for a while. But we know that you will surely revert to your disbelief. Yawman abteshul batsar al kubra. But when we shall seize them with the big seizure, Azab al Adna and Azab al Akbar, we read in Surah Al Sajda. Wala nuzikan nahum in Azab al Adna, dun al Azab al Akbar. Now when we shall, Yawman abteshul batsar al kubra, the bigger seizure, greater seizure will come. Inna muntaqimun, then we shall take the revenge. وَلَقَدْ فَتَنَّا قَبْلَهُمْ قَوْمَ فِرْعَونَ And in the same way, we had tried before them, the people of Fir'aun, وَجَاهُمْ رَسُولٌ كَرِيمٌ And to them, a very respectable Rasul, messenger had come. أَنْ أَدْلُوا إِلَيْهَا عِبَادَ اللَّهِ And he has said to Fir'aun, Now deliver to me the servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِنِّي لَكُمْ رَسُولٌ أَمِينٌ Surely I am for you. A trustworthy messenger. Wa Allah ta'alu ala Allah. And don't exalt yourselves against Allah. Don't revolt against Allah. Inni aatikum bi sultani mubeen. I have come to you with a clear authority. Wa inni ustu bi rabbi wa rabbikum atar jumun. And I take refuge with my Lord and your Lord. Lest you should stone me to death. Wa illam tuminu bi. Wa illam tuminu li fata gilun. But if you don't believe in me, then let me alone. Go away. Don't touch me with any evil design. Then he prayed to his Lord. These people are guilty people. They are culprits. They are not going to, to uh, believe in us. Now the revelation was sent to him. You go forth with my people during the night. Surely you will be followed. What look in Bahar Rahwa? And when you have crossed the sea or the river, whatever it was, or the lake, one of the salt lakes, then leave it as calm and divided as it is. When you know Hazrat Musa struck the, the sea with his staff, it divided into two. Pullo Firkin ka Tawdil Azim. And every side became just as a, a rock. But now Allah said, leave it as it is. So that when Firon and his hosts and armies come, they'll be drowned. Now these hosts are going to be drowned. How many they, they left behind them, their gardens and their springs, Bazaroin, and their sown fields, Makamin Kareem. And they are very beautiful dwellings. And the delights, Kanu Fiha Fakahin, in which they used to, to rejoice. Kazalik, it was like that. And this all we made, we, in, we made other nations to inherit. They were drowned, now the next generation or some, or whosoever was there, they inherited them. Fama Bakat Alehi Musaba. والأرض وما كانوا منزرين. so now on their fate neither the heaven wept nor the earth and nor they were given any respite. ولقد نجينا بني إسرائيل من العذاب المهين and we delivered بني إسرائيل children of Israel from the humiliating chastisement. من فرعون from فرعون إنه كان عاليا من المسلفين. verily he was from the prodigals and surely he had become very much arrogant. وَلَقَدْ اِخْتَرْنَاهُمْ عَلَىٰ عِلْمٍ عَلَىٰ الْعَالَمِينَ And we chose them, the, the Bani Israel, the children of Israel, on the basis of our knowledge. We chose them above all the worlds. Now please note, twice in Surah Baqarah we have this ayah. Exactly. يَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِلَ اسْكُرُوا نِعْمَةِ يَلَّتِ يَلَمْتُ عَلَيْكُمْ وَأَنِّي فَضَّلْتُكُمْ عَلَىٰ الْعَالَمِينَ 
O children's light, remember my blessings over you. And I raise you higher than all the nations of the world. These are Bani Israel. Here again we find, وَلَقَدْ أَخْتَرْنَاهُمْ We have chosen them. عَلَىٰ ilmin On the basis of our knowledge. عَلَىٰ الْعَالَمِينَ Above all the nations of the world. This nation has been, at least, believing in one God. Has been throughout history, except a very small period when a section of these people, they declared Hazrat Uzair salam to be son of God. But though not all of Bani Israel, some of them. And for a very small period. Otherwise, Tawheed is with them. They never left Tawheed. They stuck to Tawheed throughout history. This is something. And this is the nation only who has the recorded history of 5,000 years. No other nation in the world has that history. People don't know where from we had come. You ask somebody, he doesn't know even the name of his grandfather. I ask, you know, people in Pakistan, where from your brother, your father's, uh, your uh, parents, you know, migrated to Pakistan, they said, Somewhere in India, we don't know. They don't know where they belonged and where the forefathers had come there from. No. But this is a nation. It has a written, recorded history. And that history is by and large confirmed by Quran. Quran refers to that history. The, all these, you know, the prophets of the Old Testament who, who were caught, we, we accept that they were the prophets, no doubt. Except for Hud and Saleh. They are not mentioned. Because they were not in the line of Ibrahim. It was a separate batch of the brotony of Sam. And they were very far off from them. In Southern Arabian Peninsula and Qom Ad. So they are not mentioned in, uh, in Torah, in the Old Testament. But all the others are mentioned. I have said so. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, having given this status to a nation, then He gave them the punishment worst. Zoribat alayhim zillatu wal maskana. We heaped upon them the zillah, the humility, and maskana. Why? Babau bi ghadabi min Allah. And they got the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? An Ummah which has the Book of Allah, which is the custodian of the law of Allah, becomes the representative of Allah on earth. And now if by its action it misrepresents Allah, it's bigger criminal than the Kuffar. This is a very bitter truth. I wanted to bring it home to you. Why are we being humiliated? Why? The same law. We are the custodians of the book of Allah. We are the custodians of divine Sharia. We say we are the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But where is Deen? The Prophet said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in one of his hadiths, Yushik wa yati ala nas zamanun. La yabqa min al-Islam illa smuhu. Wa la yabqa min al-Quran illa rasmuhu. I fear a time will come when there will not remain nothing from Islam except its name. And there will remain nothing of Quran except the script. Rasmu, Rasmul Khat. That's we are very much in that time. And that is why we are being persecuted. We are being punished. It's divine punishment. Coming at the hands of the enemies, but not without the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we gave them our signs in which there was a clear trial and examination for them. Surely these people are saying, This is only one death of ours which will come to us, and then we shall not be raised again. Denying this resurrection and the hereafter. If you are true, then bring back our forefathers. If they can be resurrected, if they can bring forth our forefathers before us, then we shall believe that yes, we will also be resurrected. 
ahum khairun an qawm at tubah are they better or the people of tubah tubah you know they were the kings of saba in yemen just as you know the title of the kings of egypt was firaun title of the kings in in chaldea or iraq was namrud nimrod the title of the kings of yemen was tubah والذين من قبلهم and those who were before them أهلكناهم we destroyed them إنهم كانوا مجرمين verily they were guilty this nation was in power in Yemen from the year 150 BC before Christ to the year 300 AD for 450 years they were the rulers in Yemen فَمَا خَلَقْنَا السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا لَاعِبِينَ And we have not created the heavens and the earth and what is in between them, playing. وَمَا خَلَقْنَا هُمَا إِلَّا بِالْحَقِّ We have not created them, but with a certain purpose. وَلَكِنَّ أَكْسَرُهُمْ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ But most of them know not. إِنَّ يَوْمَ الْفَصْلِ مِيْقَاتُهُمْ أَجْمَعِينَ Definitely the day of decision, the day of judgment, is the appointed time for all of them. يَوْمَ لَا يُغْنِي مَوْلًا وَالْمَوْلًا شَيَا when the day when no friend will be of any avail to, do, to, to his friend. وَلَعَمْ يُنْسَرُونَ And they will not be helped. إِلَّا مَنْ رَحِمَ اللَّهِ Except the one whom Allah shows his mercy. إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الرَّحِيمُ Verily, he is all-powerful and he is the merciful. إِنَّ شَلَلَةَ الزَّقُّومُ Verily, the tree of Zakum, تَعَمُ الْأَسِيمُ it will be the food of the sinful sinners in the hell. Kal mohl yagli fil botoon. And it will boil like molten brass in their bellies. Kal yil hameen. Just as the boiling water seizes. Khuzuhu. And then it will be said, seize him. Fa'teluhu ila sabai jaheem. And then drag him into the midst, in the middle of the hell fire. ثُمَّ سُبُّوا فَوْقَ رَاسِهِ مِنْ عَذَابِ الْحَمِيمِ Then you pour upon his head the chastisement of boiling water. زُقْ Taste it. إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْعَزِيزُ الْكَرِيمِ Actually, he is you who are powerful. You held power. You are a king. You are Fir'aun. You are Tumba. You are Nimrod. Now taste. You are the all-powerful. And respectful and noble. In Hada Ma Kuntum Bihi Tamtaro. Now this is what you were doubting about. In Al Muttaqin Afi Makamin Amin. Whereas the people who had fear of Allah in their hearts, they will be in a very peaceful place. Fi Jannatin Wa'yun in gardens and springs. Yal Basura Min Sundusin Wa Istabraq In Muttaqabilin. Dressed in silk and brocade. Facing one another. Kazalik. Thus it shall be. Wazawajinahum behurin in. And we shall espouse them to wide eyed huris. Yaduna fiha be kulle faqedinamin. They will be ordering there all the fruits without any fear. There will be not be there will be no fear that will be said this fruit is not available. No, no, whatever you call, it will be brought before you. لا يذقون فيها الموت إلا الموت تلولا. Now they are not going to taste another death except the death through which they have already come. وَبَقَاهُمْ عَذَابَ الْجَهِيمِ And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has saved them, will save them from the chastisement of the hellfire. فَزْلَمْ مِنْ رَبِّكَ And it was, it will be a burst, a bounty from your Lord. زَالِكَ هُوَ الْفَضُ الْعَظِيمِ And verily, this will be the mighty triumph. The real success. فَإِنَّمَا يَسَّرْنَاهُ بِلِسَانِكَ O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم So we have made this Qur'an very easy in your language, in your tongue. لَا لَهُمْ يَتَذَكَّرُونَ So that they might be admonished. They might be reminded of the basic realities of this universe. فَرْتَقِبْ إِنَّهُمْ مَرْتَقَبُونَ So wait, O Prophet, for the end. Allah's, Allah's command. Surely, they too are waiting. بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم بالآيات والذكر الحكيم.
The Islamic Organization of North America, Iona, is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. The obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. 1. A Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction, Iman, in one's heart. 2. A Muslim is required to live a life of complete submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 3. A Muslim is required to propagate and disseminate the message of Islam to humanity as a whole. 4. A Muslim is required to try his utmost in establishing the just Islamic order. The first and foremost objective of establishing Iona is to assist the Muslims in North America to uphold and implement these obligations first on themselves, their families, inform their friends, and then to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. The ultimate goal is to seek Allah's pleasure and salvation in the hereafter. For more information about Iona, please visit us at www.tanzim.us. You may also email us at info at tanzeem.us or call our toll-free number 866-779-IONA. Join us. Together we can make a difference.